Hey everybody. It's okay, Jeremy. So first things first, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set a timer here for 10 minutes because seriously, I if I have to edit down from 22 freaking minutes every time I'm like, oh, here's what's happening in my life, then I'm never gonna tell anybody because I'm gonna not want to um, invest that time editing. Clearly, I would rather just talk than, uh, than pick what what is important. See here, 57 seconds already. And with that, we start the timer. And this is Vetter's Home number two. <laughs> So, here's what's going on in my life. Um, Genevieve, no. I, we just walked. We went on a walk. I am an adequate dog owner. But we're not going to talk about that because time is precious. Um, so here's what's going on in my life. My apartment may look like a shambles. I'll tell you why in a moment. Anyway, a couple of things on the chair of things. These are the first pair of pants. Lies! Damnation! These are the second pair of two pairs of pants that I have hemmed with my sewing machine that I got from my parents for Christmas. Um, I used black thread on gray pants because it's stylish. I used black thread on gray pants because I bought black thread and not gray. You may not see the sewing machine on the table anymore. That's because I put it away. Because putting things away is what adults do. I've got a streak of red in my hair because that is what adults do to make them feel like they are not approaching the home. I found my umbrella this morning and you're probably not excited about it, but I really am. As you may know, both of my maternal grandparents died in a very like short amount of time last like December and January. So, um, and it was a very rough time for all of us. Um, that is not what this is about, but I didn't want to seem like, um, insensitive in leaning, leading into the next thing from the chair of things. So when, of course, when people, when people leave us, then they bequeath things, they leave things behind. Anyway, some of what I got was just little useful things for the kitchen. Anyway, the point is of this story, not the point of everything, the point of the point of this point. Point is one of the random things that I got was this coffee scoop that says Javalia, right? Okay, so go with me here. Inside this container, because containers are classy, inside this container that I got at Goodwill, because frugal is fancy, inside this classy, fancy container is my coffee that you may have guessed is from Javalia. Now why did I get this? I'll tell you why. There are a couple reasons. One of which is because, oh, there's a hole in the bag. That's not why I got it and there wasn't a hole when I got it. <laughs> I'm way too cool for that. It's probably because I put it in this classy container. It was on sale. And here's the thing. Okay, the IRT is like right next door to Panera. And when I say right next door, what I mean is not right next door, there's actually a building in between. But you don't just go to the bar when you need coffee, right? Um, and also, you can go underground through a tunnel to Panera, okay? So, sometimes I do that. It stopped being like a sometimes and it was like, oh, okay, I'm at work, I'm gonna go get some coffee. Um, and then I realized, oh, I'm at work, I'm earning money. Oh, I'm at work, I'm spending money because I'm buying coffee. Oh my gosh, there's coffee grounds all over my computer. Good thing they were on sale. I wasn't drinking coffee at home because I was buying cheap 
coffee. And I'm not judging you if you drink cheap coffee. I'm not judging you if you appreciate cheap coffee. I appreciated it in my own way. But now my thing is I am investing in more expensive coffee. Sometimes it's on sale. Also, its name was on the spoon. Coincidence? Probably. But I bought it. And now... I drink this coffee more than I go spend money that I don't need to spend at Panera because I am an adult and I am in charge of what I do. Oh, that's it from the chair of things. Well, moving right along. Oh, you know what? Okay, this is like really random, but that doesn't shock anyone that's ever... Nobody's shocked. One of my friends at work, when... We, she does this thing, which is a thing. You know, it's like the whole, like, drop the mic. You know, like, okay, I'm done being awesome. And it's like, no, seriously, if you're a person that's like, okay, drop the mic, it's like you're never really done being awesome because that's, like, <laughs> awesome. You know what I mean? But it's like, awesome moment ended for the moment. You know what I mean? But that got me to thinking, like, like there are some, like, really like, things that people do that's like, yeah, okay, done. You know what I mean? And, like, that one totally makes sense. Um, what is with this, like, I mean, maybe this is just in my brain and this actually doesn't happen, but, like, what is with this when, like, people are, like, their little exclamation point is they go, and I just don't get that because, because it looks like they have dandruff deal with that issue myself. I'm just saying, like, that is like, oh my gosh, I am so awesome. Psoriasis, or that may not actually be, I, that's some medical term that I've heard on a commercial at some point, may not be linked to dandruff. The point is, that just, that doesn't look like awesome to me. This works, right? My apartment, as I was saying, may look like it's in a shambles. And that is because it is. But, yeah, so, whatever. Segue. Oh, okay. That's that alarm I set in the beginning. Oh, hold on. When you go on field trips in your vetters, it takes longer. And that's okay. Right? Right. This is what my apartment sounds like right now. Great, right? It's kind of awesome. And this, Genevieve, thank you. And this is the new hole that I had installed in my wall because I just really thought that uh, that's, that's what this place was missing. And this is the gate I cover the wall with because it, it's full of insulation and Genevieve wants snacks so anyway what had happened was um, I came home from work and I was walking barefoot like I do and then instead of the carpet being dry carpet it was full of freezing water not f well I mean, it wasn't freezing water because freezing water is frozen. Well, no, freezing implies that it's actively freezing. Right. I mean, not like actively like feels freezing, but it's act actively in the process of freezing, which it probably was not. But it was cold. Regardless of the temperature of the water, it should not have been in my carpet. Um, so, you know, I called the powers that be. Not the ones from Angel Witch, P.S., I am watching right now, and I am in season five, and I'm sorry, I know this probably sounds sacrilegious, but, okay, here it is. I think I like it more than Buffy, and I know, I know, say what you will, but it's how I feel, and you can't judge me because judging's wrong. I just made a judgment when I said that. Oh, I called the powers of the bee and I was like, hey, water in my carpet. 
what do I do? They sent somebody over. Anyway, so then I had emergency plumbers cutting open my wall, and then they needed to get in my neighbor's house upstairs, and apparently they knocked on the door, and then they heard her come to the door, or someone, maybe it wasn't her. I hope it was, because she's the one that lives there. Weird. Anyway, um, came up to the door and then didn't answer it. And I was like, ah, oh, but water in my carpet. Anyway, so it's been like fixed now, but fixed includes for the time being having a hole that, well, I mean, really, if I needed to crawl through it, like if my life depended on it, I could probably crawl through it. If my life depended on something like random, it, I don't think it would be crawling through a hole in the wall. Right? I mean, anyway, the point is, things are okay. And, um, and I've got a, I've got a big fan that looks like a sports whistle that a, that a giant would use, um, in, in some form of, some giant sporting event. Uh, yeah, that's what's going on in my life, and just thought I would leave you with a little little something here so just in case anyone was wondering if you leave a travel mug of tea um in the car and it's cold it's freezing if you will outside um that's what it looks like so i hope that that really really brings something uh to your life and um yeah that's that's better that's the stop that you're plugged in and everything that was my second vetter home it happened, and now I have to try to get my kitchen, my house back in order before Downton Abbey. <laughs> so, yeah, that was it. Looks like I came back for another round.